Boxer Fraser Clark was stunned by Fabio Wardley as the two met in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, on the undercard of Artur Betterbiv vs. Dmitry Bivol. His injury has now been suspected to be a fractured cheekbone, according to boxing promoter Frank Warren. For the second time in 2024, the two heavyweights locked horns in the ring after their maiden bout ended in a split draw. This time around. However, Wardley ended the fight in less than three minutes with a barrage of punches that left Clark with a huge dent in the side of his head. Delivering drama once again, Clark's hopes of beating his opponent, who is now victorious for the 18th time in 19 bouts, went up in smoke as he was sent to the floor, for the second time, after two minutes and 28 seconds of the opening round. Described as one of the most brutal KOs we have ever seen in boxing, Wardley first caught Clark with a lopping overhand right hand. The eventual winner then delivered a host of blows to Clark as he helplessly fell to the canvas. Dazed, Clark attempted to return to his feet but, rightfully so, the referee waved the fight off in concern for the former Olympian's health. Images showed his jaw facing sideways, while there was also a noticeable dent on the side of his head. Per Michael Benson, who took to X, formerly Twitter. Boxing promoter Frank Warren has suggested that Clark has, expectedly, suffered a fractured cheekbone, thus explaining the aforementioned dent, which has made fans fear for the worst. He wrote, much to the delight of boxing fans, those in attendance and at home, Clark eventually returned to his feet and congratulated Wardley. For his win, after the final bell. Following the bout, Reports suggested that he was immediately taken to a nearby hospital to undergo further scans. According to, who have been informed by their correspondents in Saudi Arabia, Clark is set to go under the knife. And have an operation in order to repair the damage to his jaw and cheekbone after his devastating loss. Putting the fierce rivalry aside. Wardley, in the wake of his first round victory, spoke to the media and wished his opponent well, suggesting that he always prays before stepping into the ring. He continued, so, I wish him all the best. I hope he's well and I hope I can see him afterwards. Give him a hug and say, thank you because, look, them 12 rounds we shared before was something special to us and to boxing. So, again, I just hope he's healthy and okay.